ladies and gentlemen, did I have another top five video and I haven't done this in about a month. So let's go ahead and try this out one more time and to see if I can get my top five done in under five minutes. I highly doubt it. So let's go ahead and start off with Be Animated since that's going to be our number five on the list. So this is an interesting thing. It basically allows you to mess around with the animation of your tiny banners. So as you can see right there on my icon, it slowly changes back and forth from an X to an actual number. And let's go ahead and see what other animations we have. At this moment, as you can see, I have it put on X, but there are a bajillion different ones you can choose from. So let me go ahead and try to describe these. The only downside is the fact that you need to respring after everything. So that's why I won't really be able to show you, more or less tell you. So little scroll speed basically looks like someone is rolling a tiny little piece of paper across that number, while on the other hand, Big Wiggle looks like the whole icon is shaking, and then pop comes the little banner. And then Shooting Star looks like something that spins, I don't know how to show this, uh, the little red thing, it spins all the way around the thing, and then stops, and then curls up into a tiny little ball. Um, these are really hard to describe, I gotta say. But if you really, really, really want to see how each of these work, then of course go get the streak, and of course you can mess around with the animation as well. Once again, it is called Be Animated. Don't forget that the B is lowercase and the A is capital. These tweaks aren't as awesome as they were back when the Evasion Jailbreak first released. Everyone just rushed to come out with this amazing city of tweaks, and we sort of ran out of amazing ones, and now people are sort of running out of ideas. So if you have any great city of tweak ideas, tell them to tell them to me in the description below, and I'll try to contact the right person to create one. In any case, let's get to the color. Volume rocker thing just changed, and for some reason it doesn't work with display recorder. I, I don't know why. But I don't know if you necessarily got a glimpse of that, but if you did, this tweak right here actually changes the color of the little square thingy that appears when you move up and down your volume thing. So let's go ahead and see some of the colors. So there's black, red, blue, green, yellow, and a billion other colors, all of which you can try out as soon as you get this tweak. There's also a few other options that allows you to change the volume numbers. So say you want uh, orange numbers mixed with yellow background. And finally, the depletion bar is of course uh, whichever color you want. The last part is of course the volume meter, and we can change that to say chartreuse, and that's what it would look like. So yeah, mess around with this tweak as much as you want. Let's move on to number three. This is of course called Grid Switcher, and this is fairly interesting considering the fact that it lets you see four applications at once instead of our traditional one. It also works very well with our next tweak that we'll be reviewing, which is called Slide to Kill. I know Slide to Kill has been around for a long time, but I thought it'd be relevant since it works really, really well with this tweak. So this tweak right here, you can simply swipe up any application of your choice, and it'll disappear. The application that's there will take its place. And of course, you can have as many pages as you want, and the best part is you can see four applications at once. Now, it gets better with Slide to Kill. Say you don't want to close all four applications because you're too lazy by swiping one at a time. Instead, with Slide to Kill, you can simply swipe down on any application, and by bang, all 60 or all 20 or all 10 of your applications will instantaneously close on its own. So that's really, really awesome, and uh, yeah, get those two tweaks. Let's move on to our final CD tweak, which is actually really awesome. Basically, it takes your lock screen and revolutionizes it when you're playing music with the simple click of your home button. So if I click it once, bang, it disappears. But if I click it one more time, there you go, it appears again. So it's sort of like the iOS 6 lock screen when you're playing music, except it's more awesome. So let me go ahead and give you a little... Uh, Thing. So it blurs out the background, shortens up your clock as you can see, it also shows you exactly what song is playing. Um, in, now you're wondering, how do you skip forward or backward in a song? Well as you can see, I can simply turn this knob, it's not letting me because I'm recording my voice. But say you were the ones using this tweak, this tweak is called Spin, and you can simply swipe this to the left and it would go forward in music. And as you continue to play music, that bar does slowly move across your screen. And of course the usual buttons, which is basically play, pause, go next, go backward, in case you don't know how to use a simple knob. But that's going to be it for this top five. I tried to do it nice and quick because some of you have been complaining my other top fives that I talk way too much. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get these tweaks. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. Please like this video. Thank you for watching. This is going to be me logging off.